Hi again, this is the tricky part of the series, so try to stick with us. First, let's go to our responding event. So when the frog is destroyed, system, create another object, frog, in layer gameplay at 400 and 570. Also plays a wait one second action before, so the responding is one second late. We need to make our frog stand on top of the log on turtle, so go back to it and give it a pin behavior. First, on every key pressed, add an unpin action to the frog and place it on top of the list. Now we'll create a function. A function object lets you use the same code inside a function, a sub-event, in different situations. So we don't have to code everything in every event we need it. Create a function object at an event on function, give it a name, check ping, and add a call function action check pin in every key pressed. So anytime we try to move, all the code inside the check pin function will be triggered. So inside the function, add a sub event. If frog is overlapping mobile, then pin frog to mobile, position only. This means when we press a key, the frog is unpinned. Then after we move, if the frog is on top of a log or a turtle, the frog will be pinned to it. So it will move following the log or turtle's path. And now in the water event, add a sub event, if frog is not overlapping mobile, then destroy the frog. So far so good, but you see that when the turtles are diving, we are still safe. We need to fix that. So in the same water event, add another sub-event. If frog is overlapping mobile, and mobile's frame is number 3, which is the empty one, also destroy the frog. So now we can only stay on top of the turtles as they are above the surface. As soon as they dive, we drown. Since the water zone is working, we can set it to invisible. Ok, now duplicate the boundaries and place two outside the screen in the water zone and give them a suggestive value type as death. So when the frog collides with boundaries, and boundaries type equals death, well, you know. Okay, the tricky part's done.
now we need some goals for our game. We'll cover that in the next part, so see you later.